Hey everyone, welcome back to the expert panda and today we are going to understand another problem from the contest Q3. I thought to we'll create later but let's try to complete it, okay? Very first the question is saying that today we are going to solve this problem because question number 3 from the lead code contest 6, uh, what is the number? Uh, 463, 467, okay? It's a very important problem because it gives you the idea how the little tricky questions can can be a uh, tough right but let's break it down a little e in the easy way so you will understand it okay so let's dive in very first what we have given let's suppose i'm talking about the example here nums equal to four three two four and k equal to five means we are given an array of integers and integer target sum k okay understand means what we have given we have given an integer array that is in the uh, in the integer we can say and a target k we have given and the k is nothing but our sum target sum we can say that okay so now for every value of the x from 1 to n we cap the array meaning we replace each element nums at i let's talk about the 4 or any other elements in this array right means a we have to replace we replace every element nums at i with what nums at i minimum of nums at i and uh, the k okay sorry x nums at num, uh, nums at i and the x that we have to cap so from this cap array will ask is it possible to pick the subsequence whose sum is exactly what k and then we return the boolean array of uh, you can say like this we are the let's suppose the ith position tells that tells, tells that that uh, is it possible when x equal to i plus one or not like that we have to see so i'll suggest please pause this video so you can understand what are the things i'm talking about okay so the question saying let me uh, read uh, for you so question saying that you are given an array nums we can say and the positive integers k we have given that is what i'm talk talking about here okay so any array capped by x is obtained by replacing what the minimum of nums at i and uh, x okay whichever the minimum that will be replaced right so for every integer x from 1 to n we have to determine whether it is possible to choose the subsequence from the array capped by x in such a way that the sum of the chosen element is exactly k and we have to return the boolean array of the answer that we have talked about it should be at i should be true if it is possible use x equal to i plus 1 and false otherwise cases okay so so let's try to understand this example so we can understand what are the things we have given very first nums we have given is 4 3 2 and 1 this is what we have given correct and k equal to 5 we have given so now try to understand this problem right so the capped array right we have to find right let's suppose we'll talk about very first x equal to 1 i'm saying okay so when x equal to 1 means for x equal to 1 what is the capped array we'll say okay let's find the capped array so the capped array when we talk about the 1 we have to find the mean right we have we have seen that what we have to do nums at i and this one what i'm talking about nums at i and the x and we know the x is what 1 means if we'll do the cap we have to get all the elements as a one all these elements will become now this capped array will come like this okay so the possible sum if you'll do the sum what will happen so we know that if you'll do the sum of these one plus two plus three plus four like that we can say one two three four which is not equal to five right so the possible same we can say possible sum is one two three four we can say which is not which is, which is not uh, 5 right resource k is 5 correct so this will give you the false 
and that is why it was coming false. Similarly, for x equal to 2, the capped array will become what? It will become uh, the smallest will be 2. So we'll say okay, 2, 2, 2, and we'll take 1 here, 1. So if you'll we'll take the subsequence, let's suppose for these cases, right? Because if you'll we'll take the subsequence of these cases, 2 to 1, 2, 2, and 1. So these subsequence if we'll take, okay? So what is the uh, value here? So we are getting 5 here. Right, so we'll say okay, mark it as a true. This time it is not false. This should be true. Okay, so we'll so we'll say okay, return true. But here it is giving false because I'll talk later here. Next, let's suppose we have x equal to three. In that case, we will get what three, three, two, one. If you'll find the subsequences because we have taken x equal to this. And cap array is this one. So if we'll take the subsequence, let's call uh, we'll take a 3 and 2. We can take right so 3, 2 will give you what 3 and 2 will give you 5. So this is also true. Let's talk about x equal to 4. When we'll get the cap array, it will give you 4, 2, uh, 4, 3, 2, and 1, right? Because 4 is the max value. And in this case, we are getting what 3, 2 again. We we'll say okay, this is also marked as a true, right? So actually, this should be what it should be uh, false, then it should be true, 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 okay? Because okay, okay, I got you, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I take this one, I have not considered this one, guys, okay? I'm so sorry, I'll I, I should take one, okay? But you understand the concept, right? You understand the concept means we are good to go. Okay, because I have taken 4, 3, 2, 1. So we can say, okay. I thought uh, why it is coming. Uh, I thought, okay. So basically, you understand, right? That is fine. If you understand, it's fine. Now, what we need to do? So when we cap the element x, right? When we cap these elements, we are talking about, okay? So we can, we can cap the element with the value x, we can say, and we can create the small groups right that will be a small group the element with the original value right and they stay as they are okay then we'll uh, say the large group so the elements with the greater than value right so there should be two things the large group and the small group so the large small group should be less than or equal to the x we can say and the uh, sorry, uh, greater than greater than x, x value, okay? And a small group should be less than or equal to x. So two group we will create, right? Uh, when we do the capping thing, right? So we have to find, we have to create the small group and the large group, right? And now we will take uh, the let's suppose some elements will take a number of elements we can say or so say t number of elements we can say we'll get from here for the large group, so they will contribute exactly t will if you'll do t into x let's suppose t into x if you'll do so it should be contributed in the large group and the rest of the we can say t minus uh, k minus uh, t into x we can say that let's talk what i'm trying to say here. i'm saying when we do the capping right with the x value okay so we'll create two group one the small group and another will be the large group why so the small group should have all the original values should be less than or equal to x okay and the large group should be greater than or equal to x okay so these a small group they stay as they are means it should be the original original one and this should be the large group these these all are become equal to x we can say okay so this is we can say original one and this is capped one we can say that okay or we can think about the small or large group also. Now we take, let's suppose t element we will take, right? So if we'll, if we take uh, t elements, right, from this large group, so they will contribute, let's suppose t into x, uh, we can say, right? They will contribute. Now let's think about the rest of the thing. What is the rest? The rest sum is 
we can say uh, k we already have k minus this will multi will get the value so this is what we'll say this is the rest of the sum so this rest of the sum must come from the small group okay if it is coming from the small group means we are good so the problem reduces to can we make this or not if you will make this using the small group values then find right if yes it means if you say if yes or some t it means answer will be what true right that is what we need to do now the concept comes to uh, dynamic programming if you understand till now so you can do by these things that the code will work but to solve this code uh, efficiently if you want to solve this problem if you see you can say it means you need to use what dynamic programming so we'll create a dp will maintain a dp array so this dp will take the s it means it tells us the s is the c that's nothing but if the sum if if sum s is possible using small group if it is possible right we'll mark it we'll maintain this dp you can say with the true false we can say that let's suppose or we can say let's suppose as x increases so the more number of moves will come into the small group right so we'll keep updating the dp okay and for each x we'll try the value let's call k by x and we'll check what dp at uh, we can say k minus t into uh, what we call x right that was i was talking about so we'll mark it it is a true so this will be become true and so overall if you'll update you will get the complexity of n of n into x we can say uh, number of elements no we are talking about the k right uh, so we'll say n into k we can say that because this will work within uh, because for all number n right and k should be less than or equal to 4000 right we'll say okay this will work because n and k both are less than or equal to 4000 so this will work okay so very first you know that you have given n we have given nums we have given and k we have given right so as i told you we will create uh, uh, the elements right we'll create and uh, we'll focus on the dp right very first so this is what we need to do we create the dp and initially we'll update the dp so this is our original frequency that i think you will understand will uh, original frequency will keep it here and we'll check the next value we'll keep checking the value right we'll keep adding on the frequency elements and we'll keep updating this one so basically you will this is fine uh basically this will uh create the original uh, frequency we, we, we basically we want to count uh each original value from one to n and so we'll create the frequency array then to do that you will do this one okay now let's talk about the answer and this answer will be the, our final answer will be keep the index x minus one and it should be capped by x we can say that this is our boolean array it, right it will keep storing the boolean dp array we can say whether the sum is achievable using